Facebook. We're going to take this for a long right here. All right, we are in Facebook long. This looks great here for a breakout over to at least 227. Let's take a look at this thing up close. Looking for at least 227 target over 227 and stop loss will be around 25, below 225.50. It looks good. I think it explodes over the top here. Gapped up, rallied, dipped from the highs a little bit and now it's on its way back up. All the shorts are going to have to come out of this up here. If we look at the SPY, the SPY is pumping hard here so we got Tailwind. Alright, Facebook struggling here to climb. It's got to climb soon. If it don't, we're just going to come out of it. Come on. Alright, we're coming out of this. It's taking too long. Alright, we're out. Only a uh, 10 cent winner. It's because it's taking too long to climb. The market is pumping hard. This thing is, is playing up here at the highs here. And if it don't climb, if it hasn't climbed on all these candles here, I don't think it's going to climb now. But it might still. BYND, we're going to long this right here. Bid. All right, we are in BYND long at 142.54. This looks okay. It gapped up, rallied for a couple of candles, and then it pulled back pretty hard. Now it's going again, you know. So we think it's going to go over at least over to 143.50. And stop loss will be around 141.50. Not a point each way. But it looks good. I don't see why this thing don't go over to at least 143.50. Even higher. I mean, it could probably go over to higher day and take off. It's got to climb soon. If it's not, we're going to come out of it. If it takes too long and I don't see uh, the bid climbing, then that tells me it's going to drop. It's, it's climbing now, so that's good. All right, here we go. Here we go, come on. We got a little over 50 cents here. All right, let's take this right here if we can. All right, we're out. We're out for about 60 cents. Not as much as I wanted, but struggling there. The market's pulling back. If you look at the SPY here, it's just put in a real big fat red candle, which tells me that this stock might pull back here. So, All right, we are in MRNA short. Hopefully this wasn't a mistake because this was pretty strong here. This was a good size squeeze, one squeeze after another all the way up to 71. I wanted to take it up at 71 short. I didn't because I wanted it to get over 71, but now it looks like it's dropping. So we're going to see if we can get this down to at least 69.50. Here it comes. And we'll trade it accordingly. All right, let's come out of this right here. All right, nice, nice. Quick uh, 60 cents. Just because this thing is pretty strong here, I wanted to get it over 71 and never went over 71 so I took it when it broke 70 50 area just for a quick uh, 55 to 60 cents or so oh and check out Facebook right after we got out of it it dipped a little bit and then it just took off look at that it took right off all right we are short at 118.94 LOW the stock gapped up I think it had earnings this morning so it ramped up pretty hard and then it sold off it just sold off you know pretty much since the open I had that one green candle there and then it just sold off hit the lows and then it started to climb and now it's climbing again <laughs> you know it started to turn there so I'm like ah that looks good looks it's closer to the lows than it is the highs so let's take that short there and ride it down to all these stops in this area and maybe get a nice little swoosh down or just get what we can get off of it if the market continues to to drop here because if we look at the spy the spy is pulling back that's why we went in the trade but stop loss will be uh, I'm thinking about 11970 area around there and targets gonna be I like it somewhere around 118 or below it even if it drops hard now it looks like it's gonna break over the top over this area here so now I'm thinking about just coming out of it before it even goes to my area because the market looks like it's going to ignite here. Yeah, we're going to come out of this right here. I don't like it. I'm going to push this up. I don't even want to stay in this anymore. Just because of the way it's trading. Come on, let's get out of this. All right, we're out. We're out. We took a uh, 65 cent loser. Just because it looks like it's about to break out over this area. And once it does, it'll see 120. I, you know, why am I going to stay in a losing trade? We are short MRNA at 70.02. Looks great here. Let's take this down. It caps down, flushed, rallied hard, consolidated. You know, a lot of people started buying here. When it didn't work out, they put their stops here. Now it drops. 
Okay, so now it'll probably continue to drop because it's going to start hitting more stops and people will short at the same time like I just did and write it down. So we're going to see if we can get this down to at least 69. It looks like it's working out pretty good here. Here we go. All right, let's just take this because it's starting to struggle there. Come on. No, come on. Don't pull back like that. All right, we're going to chase this up. I don't want to stay in this. All right, we're out. We're out. We took uh, another... Is that about 45 cents or so? So you see when it dropped and it pulled back that fast, that told me there's buyers in this and, and there's more buyers than sellers at this point. So just because it dropped here doesn't mean it's not going to go back up and take out the highs here. BYND, we're going to take this for a long right here at the bit. Doesn't want to hit us just because it's dropped quite a bit from the highs. Market's still climbing. A lot of support here. So that's a great spot to buy for a bounce. But I'm trying to get the cheaper price. I always try to get the better price whether I'm buying or selling. So it's always going to be if you're buying, the bid's always the best price. If you're selling, the sell. All right, we're in. We're in at the bid, which we were buying. So now we think it might drop below this 138. That's not a big deal. It's going to hit all this area here, and that's where we'll get that bounce. All right, but stop will be about below 137.50, which it's coming up on. But, you know, we kind of expected it to break 138, but we weren't sure if it would. But that should probably be the last hurrah there. It's going to hit this area here where there's a lot of people that bought before, you know. So we think some might even buy it again because it came back to this area. So they buy again and bring the sucker up. But if it doesn't, we will come out of it. Probably give it a candle or two, and if it don't work out, we get out of it. All right, looks like it's waking up here. Now what we're basically doing is looking at a stock that's up this much, so it's strong, you got a lot of buyers in it, and it got weak. So you're looking for those areas when a stock this strong gets weak, you know there's gonna be buyers there, most likely. Why is it that strong? Because there's buyers in it. BYND, all right, we're starting to wake up here. Let's take a look at this thing up close. So you got a lot of stops down here now at 137.50 that if it don't climb here, it will see 37.50 and drop harder, you know, but it needs to climb like I think in this candle, if not this one, the next one, if it don't climb or on the next two candles, I got to get out of the trade because it's going to drop because it should have climbed. BYND, we're going to come out of this right here. All right, we're out. We're out. Yeah, I didn't take what I wanted at all, but because it hasn't climbed there and it's so close to the lows here, this is telling me it's not going to climb. Market's climbing and this thing isn't climbing. So I said, I better get out of this trade before it drops again. Anyways, traders, that's going to be it for us today. We're up 153. Let's take a look at the trades. Six trades, five winners and one loser. Our biggest winner on uh, BYND and our loser on LOW. Thanks for watching.